Hi everyone, it's me again, CJ Ross. Um, uh, I guess I'm going to start trying to do videos more regularly because they're kind of fun to do. Um, so just send me your ideas if you have anything that you think would be kind of neat for me to do. Uh, other than, well anyways. So for whatever reason, a few people thought it would be kind of fun and mostly weird for me to do a uh, baking video while dressed in latex. So that's what I'm going to do today. Uh, we're going to try a really easy cornbread recipe. I'll post the recipe below um, in, the, in the blog text, in the caption. Um, so it's super, super easy. And uh, all you need is got salt, got baking powder, uh, cornmeal is right here. Uh, vegetable oil, and you'll see I just use regular vegetable oil. It's actually uh, not good to use things like um, olive oil for baking because olive oil has too strong of a flavor. And also keep this away from your latex. Um, it's bad, it'll eat away at the, at the glue and at your latex. We have some eggs. Uh, oh. And we have flour, whole wheat flour as well as um, white flour and a little bit of sugar over here. Um, I guess my outfit today, uh, I went for a long hike today, so I'm quite tired. Um, so I just, really easy today, just the zip vest from Latex 101, got this a while ago. And I also have this Lividex um, buckle kilt. Got these nice little buckles along the side, a little pouch for money or whatever else you want to hold in there if you're out for clubbing. Um, and it can be my little apron vest for today, or my little apron for, but baker's apron for today. Yeah, so why don't we begin? Um, I'm actually not gonna wear this because it's, you know, baking is really messy, there's the oven, it's gonna be hot, and I, I don't want it to get snagged or melted onto me, that would be really painful and really depressing. So um, we're just going to take this off, this was just for, I like the idea of having a baker's apron. <laughs> I'm sure folks will enjoy this more anyways. So, let's just undo that. And so yeah, these are the, no, Libidex. Libidex shorts, I wish I had something longer, I feel so exposed here. Um, right. So, how to begin? So the first thing you need to do is get your cornmeal. So this is cornmeal right here. And you need to soak it in with milk. So, um, let's see, preheat oven, small bowl, soak. Okay, so I guess I need another bowl for that first. Excuse me, second bowl. And, you know, if you just start out with the cornmeal first, soaking the milk, that'll give it enough time to soak properly. Um, you don't actually need to soak it for a long period of time. So we want one and a half cups of cornmeal. Maybe one and I'm just going to eyeball this because I am crazy. There's one and a half cups of cornmeal and two and a half cups of milk. Okay, milk. That's one cup. Two cups. So this recipe calls for wheat flour as well, and I know that in uh, the southern United States, I think it's more common to just have all cornmeal um, for their for their cornbread, um, and you can actually do that just fine. I think you normally need to add sour cream or something like that as well, though, or maybe more eggs. I don't know. That's cornmeal. 
Oh, the, the recipe also asks to preheat your oven to 400 degrees. I almost never ever preheat ovens um, unless it's something really finicky like a cake because it just seems like a waste of energy. I don't know, my, my baking ends up okay most of the time. So let that stand for five minutes. Grease a nine by 13 inch baking pan. Okay. Um, we don't use inches here in Canada, so I have no idea what an inch is. So I'm just gonna randomly use this um, container. It's actually nice to have a really um, large surface area for this cornmeal because you get these crispy edges along the side and it's so delicious. So we're gonna use this and we're gonna grease it. Okay. And just a little bit of the vegetable oil, scratch that on. So, I think that's all we need that for. The dangerous vegetable oil, let's just get it out of the way. Oh, just wait, I haven't even added it to my cornmeal yet. I still need that. Let me see. Okay, so we do that. Grease the pan. Remember, at this stage, you don't want to touch yourself if you're wearing latex because it will eat away the latex. Please add. The only oil you want near yourself is probably silicone oil. There you go. Um, so in a large bowl, mix everything else basically. So I need two cups of flour. One. Sometimes I like to mix half whole wheat and half um, white flour. If you want it softer, just add more white flour to it. I'm, I'm, my white flour bag is new, so I'm, I don't want to open it. I'm just going to use two cups. Two cups of flour, one tablespoon of baking powder. You need to make sure that you use baking powder and not baking soda. Um, baking soda it acts to um, you know make air bubbles or whatever to help puff up your food, but it's also a preservative. And I don't know, I guess it messes things up. So if it's asking for baking powder, make sure you get baking powder. Baking soda is a thing that you usually use for cleaning. It's really good um, for that as well. So one tablespoon. One tablespoon of that. And this asks for a teaspoon of salt. This is um, Mediterranean sea salt, um, finely ground, I think, and it doesn't matter, just use any salt that you have, because salt is salt. Um, I'm just going to, again, eyeball it, a teaspoon of salt, there we go, um, and a teaspoon. Um, okay, you'll notice that my recipe, a lot of it is just like, I'm not even measuring correctly, I just kind of pour it in, as long as it's the right consistency, usually it's okay. I mean, the only exception is if you're making a really fancy cake that needs to rise properly. Um, okay, so next it asks for two thirds cups of white sugar. I feel like making a not very sweet cornbread today, so I'm just gonna add maybe a third cup at most. In fact, I might just add a couple of tablespoons of it. Maybe just, maybe just two tablespoons. 